All right, let's take a look at the damage caused by the Jenny overspeeding. This was not the first thing I noticed, but it's the smallest, and I will work my way. There's about four things that got bust, that got damaged. And this is the first one. I'm first one on the list. I'm gonna go through. This is my nightlight. It's a really cool nightlight. Definitely not happy about it as I am not with any of the other things that got fucked up. So, see there's, it got pretty hot right here. And even there's some weird, a weird black ring that formed. And I don't know if it's showing up on the camera, but you see it's a little discolored. We got the, the nice white casing over here and it's a little yellowish. Looks like it just got really, really hot right here. And that is actually how it was plugged in. Where this was the bottom, and it's plugged in sideways, so that was, I guess, at the bottom. So I don't know if something got hot and just pulled down right there or what. So it's got a couple little Phillipses. It's... Plug it in, doesn't do anything. to cut that label. Nothing too crazy at first glance, but let's look at the other side. Oh, and there we got some damage. Or is that just ink? Looks like that's just ink. Let's look at that hot spot. Try and see. Something like that. It just got really, really hot right there. Let's see. Hmm. I don't know. No obvious signs on that one, so maybe at a later time I'll come through and start testing some of the components. Get back to it, see if we can't fix it. I really like this nightlight. Did uh, had multiple colors, and you actually hold down the little button on the front and turn it off if it was bugging you. But leave it plugged in it was nice, little handy feature. Man, nothing too crazy right off the. I mean, I got really hot right there. I don't. I just don't see anything that. Um... Unless this is unrelated. I don't remember that. I don't know. So we'll put it back together and come back to it at a later time. And you know, and just on another note, I don't smell like burnt electronics either. It 
just didn't work though. Okay. Next thing will be my Xbox power supply. This reeks like the like the most putrid magic smoke you'd ever smell. Magic smoke is the nickname for the the, the distinct smell that burnt electronics gives off. And oh yeah, that's 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 nasty. That smells gross. Sometimes magic smoke ain't too bad. Kind of like smelling it sometimes. This is bad. I use just a little flathead here. Some little security torques. But these are just fucking kind of falling apart. Just try that. Right off the bat, boom. Okay, now I got a bit that will actually take these out. You can get them at Harbor Freight. I just got a hole in the center of the uh, torques. You can also take a flathead and bust these off if you got a small enough flathead. But I'm going to try not ruin my flathead and I'll just go get the uh, torques I have. But yeah, if you have something just a little bit smaller than that, you get in there and you can just break those little stems off. Alright, and there's what you get at Harbor Freight. Might be a new kit by now, this one's kind of old. There Ooh, look at that. This is probably what made all the smoke. Because after that happened, I came in. This place was filled with nasty smelling electronic smoke. Uh, oof, boy. That burned up good. You can see these two little clear spots is where the adhesive stuck to. Or was pressed up against, anyway. Yep, I'll guarantee that's where all that smoke came from. There was not too much damage in that nightlight, and I know there's not much smoke that came in. This is this is bad. Six more shielding. What the heck is in there though? Okay, oops. So that was this little piece of metal was screwed into there. Oops. Let's see what I got here. 
kind of an oddball sized Phillips. Jeez. Hmm. That is actually detaching something on the inside there. Those are not the, uh, Case screws. I didn't know there's a fan in these things, huh? That's a neat little fan. I'll be sure to uh, add that to my arsenal. Crap. These little things come in handy for all sorts of stuff. But yeah, look at that. Huh. A little tiny little fan. For old dust. I do have another one ordered, ASAP. Just was not going to, not going without my Xbox, no sir. I'll put it back together just to, just as a way to keep it all in one place. Well, it looks like there's all sorts of damage in there. That looks cooked. Oop. That thing. These are probably, I don't know, it's just, I don't know if it's just soot or those are cooked too. that looks pretty crisp compared to that one looks like it should look like that so it's pretty bad I just I hoping hoping that it didn't hurt the Xbox at all I don't think it did I think these power, these power supplies go into a standby mode and wait for a signal from the Xbox to, to supply full power. I just hope that it's standby power, whatever, did not surge. 
So I'll put this back together and then open up the battery charger. It'll be the next thing coming up. Okay, this thing stinks pretty good too. This is more the uh, magic smoke I'm used to. It's not putrid smelling like the, like the other transformer. And this actually has shit rolling around now. So I don't know, I think something exploded. It would be definitely interesting to see what we got in there. So this is... Do not buy these chargers. It was... Before it fried, it was just, it was finicky. It did the job. And I'm pissed that it's broken. It was 70 bucks, but that is a total ripoff for what this is. Poorly made. This is the second one I replaced, I uh, exchanged the first one. Because they had mismatched alligator clips on them. They had two reds on it. It made it difficult to see at a distance what was positive and what was negative. You can look at the wire and find a little red line, but... It had mismatched alligator clips and it made a weird popping noise every 30 seconds when it ran. And you can see just the frame is just all... just It's just a cheap... It's just absolute poor, poor workmanship. And I will never buy anything Schumacher. Just looking at this, I can see what kind of... I can just see they don't give a fuck. I got it at Walmart, about 68, 69, pretty much 70 bucks. After tax, 70 something. Definitely some soot on there too. Or maybe that's normal. Oh yeah, right there. Soot all over that. That's a nice big old transformer. I'm sure it's a cheapo. China. Little fan. Yeah, there's definitely some charring back here on the on this back panel. What is bouncing around? Oh, there we go. That is most certainly a capacitor. Whew, that exploded for sure. Oh, wow. A bunch of good. There's some crispy wires in there. That's bad. That, that, that took some damage too. Jeez. All right. So those are the smaller ones, and then on to my air conditioner, which is. Really shitty that that happened. Alright, so I went and got a couple things at the Harbor Freight. Spent five bucks on these extra long screwdrivers just so I can take apart that air conditioner. It's got some really deep inset Phillips heads. And it's the only long Phillips they carried was with the two sets, so four ninety nine, not a bad deal. Lifetime warranty. Five bucks. Not sure I'll ever use them again, but you never know. Those will probably come in handy.
basic. Just some switches, a capacitor, three capacitors, the uh, infrared receiver for the remote, and the display. Yes, frickin' exploded. That's uh. God, I hope everything got up. That's it. I really, really do. Let's replace it. See what happens. Oh. Pieces. All right, so another one of these cost twenty eight forty five.
Before I took this off, I did take a picture of the wiring, so I know, uh, so I have a reference. That's a good sign, boys. Yes! So nice. 